little bit more, what, uh, more spirit here, okay? Can I say LSBR? Everyone just say, yeah, okay? LSBR? Yeah! yeah. All right. My name is Ani, and I'm, you can call me Ani, or in my office, they call me Ka Ani. Um, I'm very happy to be here, Ibu Prita Kamalgani. I'm so proud of you. I'm your fans. So I'm very happy to be here. Actually, last year, I talked to my friends, and I said, I really want to go to LSBR. I really want to go there. I want to speak there. I want to meet their students. And I got, see, God answered prayers, right? <laughs> so this is like a dream come true. So I'm going to talk about storytelling, PR and the art of storytelling. And I'm from tax office. So what kind of story do you think I'm going to share? Let's watch this out. You're probably going to think, like, I'm going to talk, or, or the story I have is a scary story. Is it like a horror movie when I talk about tags? You know? So here I am standing, and I'm, I'm going to tell you, share with you how we create the content, our storytelling about tags. And my, my goal is, my vision, when I'm going to tell about tax, it's going to be a romance story. It's a love story from, from the citizens to their country, right? So here, here we go. Most important factor, just like Li Vichang, I'm so happy that he, she mentioned that. Story is very important, right? Then when she's making a movie. Nowadays, when I talk about tax, yes, I know that I have to have the story. But what kind of story that I'm going to tell about tax? We have more than 30 million taxpayers, but we have 262 populations. And most of people don't have their tax IDs yet. But I don't want to go to them to reach them with a horror story or scary story. I want to come to them with something that makes them laugh. So I have to think. That is why me and my team, we have to think what kind of story that we are going to tell people so they know that they have to pay their tax, they have to report their tax. It is not easy part. I know because it is not easy. That is why I'm really enjoying my job. Right? If it is too easy, then you're just going to, nah, that's easy. But this time, uh, now we are talking, uh, yeah, Enough with that. I, I was winning the media social winner, silver. But yes, I use also story. We go through channels like social media. Why? Because I want to reach my target audience or the younger generation. They are the future of Indonesia. They're present and the future of Indonesia. So how am I going to talk? How am I going to share the story about tax? We use the media social a lot and also because we have very limitation in budget <laughs> well I'm, I'm gonna be really honest you know in making story you have to be really honest so the the audience the listener would understand that it comes from your heart and Ibu Prita Kamal Gamis, Gamis, uh, said previously PR is about reputation and how am I going to speak or to to spread the, the, the story about Director General of Taxation if I can't manage my own reputation first. So that's what I'm doing. I, I, I see a lot of students, you're nodding, that's good, because you want to do as a PR expert next time, you got to do your own reputation first. So please be careful with what you post in your social media, because that is also your reputation. Next. So these are the creative process. First is from the idea. I know somehow to tell stories about tax, people just gonna, 
boring, it's scary, I don't like it. In, in the back of their mind, they already said like, I don't like this stuff. I don't like tax. When they don't like it, and of course in their mindset, they already built a long wall, a very high wall. Just that I don't want to get rich by the tax people. So I have to be really, really, really careful when thinking about the idea, how, am I going to, how are we going to tell the stories? How we are going to make the story? Who's going to be in the story? And who are the listeners? Who are the target audience? So we're thinking about that. So first is the idea. These are the three factors in creating the art of storytelling after the idea. And of course, we, we have to create it. Oh, then how do you know that um, I, I, I have this idea, but then nobody created it. It's just like, just gonna, just idea, blow with the wind. Or because we are in the government also, we have to have this gatekeeper. I am the gatekeeper because I have to make sure what are the things that we are going to post on our social media today. Oh, th this one. Okay. And when we are going to post it, post it here, post it there, through these channels, I'm the, I'm the gatekeeper. But I have team creative. My creative teams are also from tax office. They are tax officers. They're young. I don't have agency. We don't, we don't hire an agency because we don't have the budget again. So I was thinking 45,000 tax officers all over there in Indonesia. And 70% are millennials. So I'm pretty sure they have talents. They know more about this digital. So I was thinking, hey, why don't we invite those who are who have talents in design graphic or movies. And I would like to introduce my co-workers, Irwan. He is the one who made the movie we previously saw, the horror. And also all the um, public service announcement that we just made. It's also, see, he produced that. He's the producer. And all my design infographic that you, you might see in our social media or in our pamphlet or our... Um, you know, print ads, it's by Arif, where is Arif? Oh, he's over there doing the slides and also who made the slides. That is our theme because we believe content is king, just like Livy Cheng said, the content is king. And I've checked how many movies, how many videos in the social media, in YouTube. It's trillions of movies, trillions of videos. How we are going to be seen? So, it has to be something nyeleneh in Bahasa Indonesia. It's something unique that we have to have our uniqueness. And that is very important to you also. Like Ibu Prita Gemalga, Ibu Prita is very unique in her own uniqueness. She's beautiful, she's smart, she's intelligent, she's an entrepreneur. And of course, she can speak a lot about what she's been doing. And also, this is in the tax office. This is what we do. This is how we make the story. Next. So this is, we do also research. <laughs> this is very important in whatever we do, yeah, in creating our uh, material, communication materials. What do we want to tell? Who do we want to tell that? Who is the audience when we're going to publish that? Those are the things that we research before we publish, before we make. Like for um, March is the report season, tax report season, you know, so we have to create when we are going to start saying things about, hey, it's time for you to file your tax, you know? And without making them, hey, amit, amit. You know, in Bahasa, they would say that when you mention a uh, pajak. But now, we are so happy 97% of uh, tax filers are through online. Could you please have, give me a big applause? Because a long time ago, not long time ago, like five years ago, people go to tax office, they will go, they, we build tents and people bring papers lining up and then they come early in the morning and they, they're done at night. We don't have that anymore. Please check on the news. Kantor Pajak, tax office, is sepi because everyone using their gadget to file their tax. And we do campaigns a lot about that. We do tell stories a lot about how easy it is to file your tax just using your gadget. 
and now 97% from 11.3 million tax reports are through electronic or e-filing. That's good. And that's the ideating. We do research, then we write the web. In it, this is one of the uh, posting that we make. This is Sarini, princess who just got married, right? And we just put it like, do, we are telling stories about one regulation that husband and wife can have one tax ID instead of two. So we write the wave using Shahrini as our uh, story. And 7,300 likes for that, that day. That is nice for government social media, you know? Yeah, please don't compare me with some Solese or so, you know? Next. And then creating. There is no one size fits all. We create different stories for different audience. So these are some of the stories. Um, do you have the video? Yes. And this is produced by Imagitection. That is the creative team of DGT. Raka yang kamu lakukan ke saya itu jahat. Saya jadi kena denda pajak gara-gara kamu. Saya kan sudah pernah bilang sama kamu jangan sampai telat lapor SPT. Iya, saya tahu. Tapi lapor di kantor pajak itu antriannya panjang banget, Raka. Ngapain ke kantor pajak? Nih, bisa dari HP. Sekarang lapor pajak bisa pakai HP. Filing. Lebih awal, lebih nyaman. Those are for younger generation, this is for the older one. Aku tak sanggup mengisi SPT tahunan ini, Oma. Rupanya. Di balik kecantikan dan kelembutanmu, kau tidak go green, Ami. Sungguh terlalu. Lapor SPT tahunan memang harus menggunakan kertas, Oma. Kau salah, Ami. Kini lapor SPT tahunan cukup lewat e-filing aja. Lapor pajak. Pakai e-filing aja. E-filing. Lebih awal, lebih nyaman. This is this is for young and old generation. Eh, maaf, maaf. Oma? Sinta, aku dengar kau belum lapor SPT tahunan. Kau sungguh terlalu. Oma, saya sudah lapor pakai e-filing. Oh, MZ, aku hilaf. Ah, mari kita nyanyi bersama. Lapor pajak. Pakai e-filing aja. E-filing, lebih awal, lebih nyaman. Yes. Kita bikin versi karaoke. This is the karaoke version. Lapor pajak. Bisa di mana aja lapor pajak. Bisa kapan aja lapor pajak. Sekarang makin mudah lapor pajak. Pakai e-filing aja. For those who don't like dangdut, we have one more video. So those are some of the uh, our stories to tell to ask people to file their tax return using e-filing recently. And Irwan was the producer for all the videos. <laughs> and the idea thing, when we make the idea, this was my challenge to the creative team. I said, I want to make something. I want us to make something that when people see that. They will smile. When people was asked to file their tax return, they smile. There's a smile in their face. And I'm very glad when you see Oma and Ami, I see the older generation laughing. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Pa. I really like that, that you're laughing, that you're... Yeah. So that's um, some of our stories, our creating. And then next, that's our image detection. We do, of course, evaluating 
uh, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, we find out this is some of the part of we do. Like we, this is from our Instagram account. We check what kind of in, a thing, subject that they like. Like we give a lot of information. Of course, it's a government um, social media account. So we give a lot of information, of course. But a lot of information and a lot of likes. Oh, people like it when we give information. Okay, but then we give quiz. We don't really do or giving quiz to them, but a lot of people like it. And also comics. We also make comics to, t uh, to tell our stories about tax. You know, if you use comics, you, you won't hate it. You just love it. Like, hey, oh, this is about tax. It's okay, but I like it because it's comic, right? And then also about days, like um, important days. And people not really like it. They don't really engage with that posting. So from that, we know that, hey, we have to give more quiz and we have to give more comics as our materials. So that's what we do next after this. We create more comics. And I believe if you check the, Pajak, uh, the Gen Pajak RE, our uh, account now, we put a lot of comics and people like it. Like this one, it's comic saying like, oh, there's no enemy. And then just like, oh, I think save here. And it's like tap, 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 tap. It's filing his tax return, right? Tap, tap, tap. And then the enemies actually came and then st stand up in front, uh, above his body. You know, it's kind of funny. People like it. And the engagement is really high. And also, yes, we create, you know, Aquaman. Have you seen Aquaman? Yeah, so we make also uh, movies about Aquaman. Just saying that if you just grab the fish from the ocean, there is no value added tax. That is the story. But we use comics. See, we tell stories about value added tax through comics. That is how we make our story. That is how we tell our story. Next. And of course, we have create photo story. But of course, we make it like really nice and relaxed. Like this is the governor of South Kalimantan with the head of regional tax office in South Kalimantan. And they were just like sitting around in front of the office, like relaxed. And we put it on our captions, just like filing your tax return with the angin sepoi sepoi, you know, with the wind blows, you know, nicely. So that is how we speak. That is how we tell our stories. It is not like governor of South Kalimantan filing his tax return. That's it. You know, people wouldn't like it. This is not how we tell stories. We have to put your soul into it. You have to make people happy. You have to put, I think later on you will get more information from some solicitor about how to make people love your stories. I think, next. And yeah, we also have um, internal magazine and we want um, Inma Gold Winner because we also tell stories about, you know, the, the, the airplane that crashed recently. We have 12 people, our friends in that plan, they died. It was very sad, very sad moments to us. So we, we decided to write the stories about those 12, our friends, in our in-house magazine, and it got gold winner. See, you have to make the stories attached to your audience. Next. And yeah, that's my job as deputy director of public relations. I'm the gatekeeper here, the organization. We have the content creator and then social media admins because I know that I don't have a lot of budgets to, you know, to use ch uh, paid channels. So I use social media and all tax offices all over Indonesia, they must have social media account and they become the buzzer of director general of tax, um, the official account. Next. Yeah, also integrated, of course. That is our video, and this is our print ad. <laughs> and also, we make quiz about this. Next. Siap jongkir balik, you know, we make quiz. Cover goyang hey ho, you heard that before. Lapor pajak hey ho, you know. So we make quiz like that. Could you please make a one minute video and then post it? And we were surprised, like almost 600 people posting. And then they do the goyang dangdut, you know. That was awesome. And we just released the winner. Um, it's not a lot of money, only 500,000 rupees voucher for 10 people. But 600 applied, that was really awesome. And they help us to spread iklan gratis, you know, free marketing. Because people just posting it and then thousand views, thousand views, thousand views. It's because free marketing for me. That's good. And also, this is 
uh, also interactions with our audience. Like we are asking, um, from 6.5 million people who filed their tax return, only uh, 400,000 are wearing manual or paper report, but the, the rest is electronic. Which one are you? And then people answer exactly 6% and 94%. They do click, so the interaction is very good also with your audience. I think that's all two ways interactive communication, and I think that's all that I can tell the story about PR and the art of storytelling. I hope this, not so much time, but I hope you get something as a government PR. It is hard to do, especially because the story I'm, I have is about tax. But I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, please.